Okay, folks, so what I thought I'd just talk about for a few minutes is a new feature in G Suite for Education. It's been an enterprise for a while, um, which is SMIME uh, email uh, signature and encryption. And this is a feature that allows you to have a higher level of uh, email authentication than uh, it's previously been allowed on the Education Edition. So. I'm going to show you practically what it looks like once it's enabled and set up for a specific user. And this is set up on a per user basis, it's not something you just sort of turn on for your entire domain. Um, it's a lot more complicated than that. And then I'll show you the steps by which you can enable it for a user. So if I just um, email test student test account. What you'll notice on my mail is I've got a little padlock over here next to CC and BCC. If I click on that, I've got this message will be sent using standard security, so TLS. Um, it's another G Suite account. It doesn't actually support um, SMIME because it's not set up on that account. But if I click on View Details, um, I get this message security um, center type thing now. And it tells me that this message will be sent by uh, standard TLS so you can see exactly how a message is going to be encrypted or even if it's not going to be encrypted or whether it's going to use enhanced SMIME the recipient doesn't support it so it's not going to be encrypted by that but you've also got the settings option here we've got enhanced encryption with digital signature so you can still put a digital signature onto a message so that's what we're going to do so I've sent a test message to this account already and if we click into this test message here and I click on the little down button to show the details you'll see that you get this little green tick verified email address sender information and I've got a digital signature now as well as being mailed by, signed by and using DMARC. So all of those other things you should have in place well before you even think about this and I've got another blog post about all of that sort of stuff. So this is just about hardening for certain users email security. So that's where we're looking to get to. So how do you actually set this up? Well, the first thing you need to do is actually enable this in the um, admin console. And um, that's just one tick. And I'll show you where to find it. So if we click on the little menu thingamajiggy down the side here and we go to G Suite and we select Mail uh, Gmail and it's under User Settings. Now you can do this on a per OU basis uh, but I'll just show you where it is. So when User Settings materialize here in a moment um, it's down at the bottom so I scroll down here, you'll find that SMIME is here and there's all these interesting options about uploading various types of certificate and stuff and we'll come on to that in a minute. But essentially, you need to tick this box, enable SMIME encryption for sending and receiving emails. And if you want individuals to be able to manually upload their own certificates, then you'll need to check this box as well, which is what I've done initially. Um, you can use GAM to um, upload a certificate for a user rather than having them do it assuming you, you've generated a certificate for them. So there's this certificate that's required which is what's called a PFX file. So I'm just going to show you one way of making a PFX file. You will need to either buy these, um, uh, Komodo do them for personal use for free or they have a corporate version but I'll just show you the process by which you can generate a certificate because you're not going to get anywhere without having the certificate. So I'm going to just jump into a virtual machine here and to do this you are going to need to use Internet Explorer. Um, I think you can do it in Safari as well if you've got a Mac and if you just Google um, Komodo uh, S MIME certificates you'll eventually end up here and all you do is put in your first name, your last name, your email address, your country, um, a password if you want to revoke your certificate, so you just want to zap your certificate, 
and then you click on accept and you click on next has to be done in Internet Explorer don't try and do this in Chrome it won't work at this point it, it will send you an email on the email there is a link to install that certificate you need to have Gmail open in Internet Explorer when you do this so have another tab open with uh, Gmail open and um, it will add the certificate to Internet Explorer which you might think is not much good and it isn't as it stands but what we have to then do is click on Internet Options we need then to go to Content you then click on Certificates and you'll find that you've got a certificate installed now you click on export, you click on next, you click on yes export the private key which is not the default, it's very important you do that otherwise it won't work. You click on next, you click on next again, you select a password, you need to remember this password because you won't be able to use the certificate without it. Once you've selected a password you'll be asked for a location to save that certificate to. You save that certificate and what I've done is upload that certificate into my drive so I've got that certificate wherever I go. That's your digital signage certificate. So look after it. Now you'll be glad to know that's the last time we need to use Internet Explorer. Now I'm doing this on a virtual machine on my Linux box which is how I've got Windows 10 running as well as um, uh, Ubuntu on this particular machine. So to minimize that, we have now got our certificate. You need to add that certificate to any browser, and literally any browser that you use um, your mail on and you want to use this particular feature. You don't have to use the feature, it'll work, your mail will work fine without it, you just won't be able to digitally sign your mail. Um, so what you do is click on the three dots there, you click on settings, and then you click uh, you select, if you just type insert, you can search for things, manage certificates, click on there, click on import, uh, downloads, pick your PFX file and click on open. If you've got it in your drive and you're doing this on a Chromebook then you can just browse with the file manager directly to your uh, drive and do it that way. And that's it, so it's installed on this browser now. So I can use it on here. Um, that's not quite the end of it though. What the user then has to do is if you go into, uh, I've got it open here, if you go into your Gmail, now this is the bit where you can do it for the user if you generated the PFX file for that particular user. Uh, which you could do, there's no reason why somebody in IT support can sit there and make lots of PFX files uh, be very boring but they could um, you go into settings, account and then you've got this bit that says edit info you click on there you get this other window that pops up and then you, by default it'll have disable enhanced encryption and you've got an option to um, upload another certificate or upload a certificate if you've already got one there and you upload the PFX file that you've got, this is a one-time thing but note it expires and then you put in your password for the certificate and um, then as you can see I've got my certificate installed here which expires um, on the 25th of June 2019 so at that point I'll have to upload um, another certificate in this action to renew this so there are the steps that you need to do to enable this uh, so this is not something I'm going to be enabling for many, well you can enable it for all of your users, it won't make any, a blind bit of difference until you generate a certificate and then upload a certificate and uh, basically explain to them what it does um, but there you go. So if you want to use SMIME and you want to digitally sign your emails, they are the basic steps by which you can do it. But obviously if you want to buy you want a thousand users doing this, you will need to go and buy a thousand certificates. So you're looking at some significant cost here. If you only want to do a few, then you can probably just go and get them from Komodo for free, like I've done this particular one. 
So um, that's the steps. In the blog post I'll put and in the description to this video I'll put the links to the places where um, I basically found my information. So for example on the on the G Suite admin sort of instructions it goes through how to turn it on essentially which is fine and what this means for your users but actually on this particular page which it doesn't link to um, tells you how to um, upload certificates and um, how to get certificates and it shows you the browsers you can use um, which is basically Chrome 51 and Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 10 so those are the instructions that I've used to generate my PFX file. Anyways, hope that's uh, useful for anybody who's thinking what is this all about.